Only a month after its first touchscreen device went on sale, Nokia is launching another touch-sensitive mobile computer that it says will kickstart the next wave of its flagship N-series. And this one, called the N97, also comes with a QWERTY keyboard, something that Nokia's head of sales, Ansi Vanyoki, says makes it tailor-made for social media. Uh, what is important is that this is not only a consumption device, but actually it is an active participation device that will allow you to be in the social networks and kind of live in the media 24-7, 365. Nokia still dominates the smartphone market, but it has lost market share in the third quarter to the likes of Apple and Research in Motion, who make the iPhone and BlackBerry, respectively. Google has also grabbed a lot of attention with its entry into the mobile space. Vanyaki is confident that the N97 will help Nokia regain some of its lost momentum. It will be the talk of the town, and not only talk, but it will be the product that people will be buying and using. But with all of the gloomy economic news surrounding the wider economy, why is Nokia focusing so much effort on a high-end smartphone? Uh, also in such times, uh, it's very important to advance your technology. And uh, what we are doing with the Nokia N97 is we are positioning it to those people who really decide what the rest of us will be using a few years from now. So uh, it's very clear that uh, even in these kind of times, these people uh, are in need of new technology solutions that improve their efficiency and participation to the world at large. Nokia says the cost of the N97 will be roughly in line with what the two previous N-series models sold for when they were first released. It's scheduled to hit stores in June of 2009. Matt Cowan, Reuters.